Yeah, well, you could argue his kickboxing is as good as anyone's in this division, but this is a mixed martial arts fight, and you got to think that a lot of people in this division are going to try to put him on his ass. Well, you have to. If you're standing with this guy, if you're stuck on your feet fighting this man, you're constantly in trouble. So you've got to give him mixed looks. But I'm going to tell you, he has been very impressive in this regard. He has shown an ability to stay upright, defend takedowns just enough to give himself a chance. And because of that, he has had a lot of success at the start of his UFC career. And he's brought in a lot of fans from the kickboxing world. So let's see if he can produce for all the masses watching around the world tonight. So the outstanding boxer getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And I know in his last fight he got a little bit sensitive because we talked so much about his hands. He's a layered mixed martial artist, but certainly boxing has been his foremost skill, at least thus far in the UFC. What's his bread and butter? When he's doing his best work, it's behind the hands. It's behind the setups. And we as broadcasters have seen enough of the sport at the highest level and boxing to know that that is the path that he is showing. That is the path that he has chosen. His footwork, his speed, his face, his setups, they are all boxing-centric. So we call him a boxer, and guess what? Take pride in that. You're one of the best in the UFC at using that skill. His jab is great, but he has told us this week he believes that the knockout's going to come with that patented left hook. We'll find out here in a matter of moments. Man, what a crazy atmosphere inside GMS Arena here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil tonight. The athletes are ready to go. Let us now see who will have the upper hand. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one. Ready. Good. All right, so here we are back in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Truly an MMA hotbed. This UNSC arena has been a host to any number of different historical moments in the UFC. And we'll have some more UFC history here tonight, Chuck. In one of the biggest moments for women Brazilian fighters, Amanda Nunes fought there and retained her title. Jessica Andrade knocked out both now to become the UFC strawweight champion. This is a great arena for great fights and some of the best Brazilian fighters have had in this arena. Oh, he's not wasting any time. Those thudding leg kicks just continue to land. I'm not sure how many of those the boxer's gonna be able to take. Well, boxers in both of their names. You got the kickboxer versus the boxer, but the kick is ultimately what shows itself early. He has more weapons. He's gotta use each and every one of them. What a kick. That one landed. Low kick is there. Lands a quick jab. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. That punch, no good. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Straight right hand. 
Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Strike lands cleanly there. Nice, good. Keep that pressure there. Back to break. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Single collar tie locked in. Very active in the clinch here and lands a beautiful shot to the head. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, nice body shot. Two minutes to go in the round. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Went for the inside leg kick. Right hand is down for the top. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough he is. You got to move your head. Be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Choi's keeping those feet in perpetual motion, circling to his right now. Straight punch lands. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Just out of the range with that right hand. Good. Keep the pressure on. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. you got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. 15 seconds to go. Oh, he didn't seem too phased, but that high kick definitely got through. Right. Second round, straight ahead. level highlights from that last round DC take us through the replay if he fought like this I would be comfortable entering him into a k1 level right kickboxing competition he's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will he needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on you ready to fight ready here we are early round two all right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. you got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Well, clearly his leg is hurt, and now you see him starting to limp a little bit, Shane. Yeah, he's starting to limp from the leg damage. He's been beat up, but his opponent told him, he goes, this guy does not check kicks very well. He does not do a good job of recognizing those types of attacks, and he's taking full advantage of it. 
Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever. And I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Back and forth we go. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. Oh! Able to land there with the straight left. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste it's these okay. opportunities. You don't get them as often as you like. So if you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just missed with the straight left hand. Nice jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, straight punch. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stung by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad. Just over two minutes now to go. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Nice straight right lance. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the front of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. You don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got him four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Let's go. Keep moving forward now. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here to try to stop this fight. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this game. Seconds to go round two. Oh, back and forth we go. Final seconds here of round two. Nice counter right hook there. Huh. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Ready. Ready. Third round underway. 
All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Choi's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. That was a solid punch. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Try to establish that jab. Straight right is there. Let's go. He's cut. Work that cut. Inside leg kick now. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Forward, forward, forward. Oh, another bruising shot right to the body. I wouldn't think you want to take too many more. Oh! One, two. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you've got a person like this, that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. There's that head kick. Unable to connect with the right hand there. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Nice counter shot there. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the round. But that's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad knockdown early. It's going to be on him to build back into this fight as we go forward. Choice all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Forth we go. Beautiful defensive skills on display. Oh, well timed and placed over and by Choi. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. Jab. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Final seconds of round three. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. That's three rounds.
Pans in the can were headed to the championship round. And there is the horn. Confidence has to be high after that round. Really good round there from Choi. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Until he blocks it, you better keep throwing those body kicks. Just out of range with that left hook. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, man. Fighter blocks a punch. Oh, spinning back this Lance. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Choi's taking aim at that cut right now, and they might even have to call in a ringside position. Smart decision by the fighter to continue to attack that compromised area. Great commitment to the kicking game. Choi's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Good, good job. That's it. Keep that pace. Oh, he doesn't like it. Moving to his left now. He gets to the single collar time. Look at him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Oh, goodbye. Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Oh, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Under three minutes to go in round four. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised, and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Vision is compromised, there's no doubt. Under two minutes to go. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice switch kick. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing can actually take this effect on. Choi's cut is getting worse. The cut man chopping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. So bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Right on the button. Gets to the single collar tie. Under a minute to go in round four. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. 
went for the inside leg kick. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Well, you know he's tougher than I am, right? But this man has absorbed so much damage upstairs that I wouldn't be surprised to see the referee call in the doctor at some point. Well, at some point, you got to take a look at it. He's so bruised, he's so battered, he's so swollen. And credit to his opponent for finding a route to victory and staying on that. He has dominated this fight. Final seconds here. Choi's left leg would appear to be compromised at this point in time. You see he's limping, having a hard time putting weight on it. And it appears as though it was that last kick that did the damage. All right, well, if you like blood, and I do, this is the fight for you. Somehow we've made it to the stools, and both fighters are wearing it. Yeah, I mean, the corner's gonna have some work to do on that cut. He has been beat up in that round, but he has done his fair share of damage himself. This has been a very close fight. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous fight? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The match makes... Oh! He's got to move. They're going to stop this fight if he doesn't move. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Overhand right, swing and a miss. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, left hook. to the head block. Choice blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the guard. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Real quick leg kick. My right, chance started to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You got to move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Choi's cut right on the bridge of his nose. Does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. And you got to think the ringside physician will, too. Referee might call him in here in short order. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Straight punch is good. Oh, nice jab up top by Choi. Let's go, let your hands go. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Effective with the jab. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Right hand, yep. Beautiful kick to the body. Oh, 
All right, so the blood continues to be a major factor in this fight, and I think it's... Oh my God. What an absolute war it has been. Probably gonna hold up in the fight of the year conversation, and I wouldn't be surprised to see both fighters at the hospital later tonight. It just takes me back to certain fights. It takes me back to Michael Johnson against Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler versus Dustin Poirier. The best fights in the world is what I think about when I look at these two. From the blood, from the damage, to the heart and the spirit that these two have shown. I cannot believe that these guys have made it to a minute left in the fight with that type of ability. Clipped him with the jab. Oh, nice. Oh, he got it again. Oh, he hurt back. Oh. oh, back and forth we go. Blood is everywhere. I'm just not sure how much one man can take, never mind both of these guys absorbing a ton of damage to yes, John, they're spraying blood all over each other. They're beating each other up. Oh, more attack. Yup. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and his show in that defense. Choi's cut has really opened up now, folks. I don't necessarily have to tell you that watching at home. And there is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. The Ladies official decision is in. After first five has rounds, it. we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, Michelle Dimolito! All right, so the judges have rendered their decision, and two of the three of them had it for him. So he gets it done by split decision tonight. You've been involved in some yeah. of those. Nothing easy standing there waiting for the judges to render this. John, scorecards. it is the worst feeling in the world, not knowing if you did enough, right? Or not knowing what the judges were watching. So I know exactly what these guys are feeling as they walk to the center. You got your fingers crossed.